Hi, I'm Gohar Vardanyan, and this is a video for the Strings by Mail Unexplored Repertoire series. In this video, I'll be reading through the second movement called Aria from Suite de la Gerque by David Goudreau. This aria is one of six movements in the suite, and the other movements are just as beautiful as this one. They all have specific names. Um, the first one is called a sad waltz. Um, second one is the aria. Third one is called milonga of the sun. The fourth one is lover's promenade. Fifth one called mystery. And the sixth one is called reflections in the water. And the titles are of course in French, but I'm not going to attempt reading them in French. Um, the aria, as the title suggests, is a song, so when you're playing it, think of a singer and try to make the melody as beautiful as possible. Um, Fingering-wise, everything is well notated, and actually my only suggestions are fingering-related, and uh, because I changed a couple of them to make it sound smoother. The first change that I did was in measure 9, and um, just to come from a measure before. So measure 9, it's written with the F sharp being third finger and then second finger on the C sharp and then this is measure 10. I chose to do the F sharp with the fourth finger then which freed up my third finger to play the C sharp which in turn freed up my first finger and my second finger could remain on the D to make an easy transition into measure 10. So instead of doing this which required me to jump did this and so on which made it a lot easier for my left hand and that um, measure specifically it has a slight crescendo underneath and melody wise you have this so you would probably want to move forward in some way in terms of phrasing maybe do a slight accelerando and to have fingering that hinders you from a smooth um, phrasing choice it kind of makes you think maybe I can make something easier. So I chose fingering that's smoother and easier on my left hand so I can be freer in my phrasing. And the next fingering change is actually what's coming up next in measure 11. The way it's written, um, the G doesn't have a fingering, but the F sharp is written with the first finger. So in order to play the F sharp with the first finger, I would have to play the G with the second finger to be able to easily get to it. This made my hand go backwards and then forward, which doesn't really seem too comfortable when there's an easier option of doing the G with the first finger and also gives you the option of preparing ahead of time. And then changing the F sharp to 2. keeps moving in the same direction. It's usually easier if you start uh, establish a movement towards the first position to just move in that direction rather than to, that rather than to move back and then forward and then back again. Kind of breaks the, the momentum. 
Um, other suggestion fingering wise, I think I kept exactly what's there. Um, usually, you know, I, I try to give a shot to the fingering that's in the music because usually there's a good reason why it's there. But don't be afraid to experiment if you find that the fingering you see isn't really working for you or, or is not working with the phrasing that you decided to do. My other suggestion is really just an option for you in terms of harmonics. Um, the harmonics in this publication are notated with the with the pitch note of the fret that it's on, um, and then they're in diamonds, obviously, and the, the fret number that you would play the harmonic at. So these harmonics in measure six. Oh, and also usually in, in publications, most of the time, if it's an artificial harmonic, usually there's some kind of indication that you're supposed to do that harmonic with the right hand. Not always. Here there is nothing to tell me to which hand to use. I chose to use my left hand, so coming from the measure before. I chose to do my left hand because I found that um, I, would, I could be more accurate, even though I'm jump, jumping a larger distance, and I could make the harmonic sound a little bit louder rather than doing this. Which is also possible, but I would have to jump with my right hand and the landing of the harmonic with the right hand has to be very, very accurate to make it sound cleaner. So I weighed the two options and I decided taking the risk of jumping with the left hand was more, more worthwhile than with the right hand. But you do have that option and whatever you decide to do or is more comfortable for you, I'd say um, use that. Um, other than that, it's very, um, everything else is very straightforward and I hope you will enjoy reading through it. Um, if you'd like to order the music, as always, I'm going to put a direct link to the Strings by Mail catalog. Thank you for watching.